Hey everyone, welcome to your weekly reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Care. Welcome back everybody. So nice to see you today. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, this reading will be for September 10th through the 16th of 2018. Uh, the big news in the energy, what I was seeing when I was uh, shuffling the cards was um, this sense of reflection on... Um, what do you really love in your life? Are you happy right now? Um, where are you financially? What are the things you want to change? And it's funny because I feel like since all this eclipse season and feeling so bogged down, September was really opening the doors for everybody to kind of be able to take a breath and move forward. Um, and now um, oh, we got another retrograde upon us. Now, she enters shadow today. Venus will be in full retrograde on October 4th. Uh, let's see what the cards are bringing in because I really feel like uh, this could be a week to set the tone and make some changes, okay? Um, and you know how I always tell you guys, you know, if you do the work, now it's manifesting, you know. I think my subscribers definitely can relate to that, so do the work. <laughs> because, you know, good juju will come to you. <laughs> um, that's why I do these readings. I give you a heads up of what's going on. See the star card. Astrological alignments playing a role this week. Absolutely. Got the star card. Looking at our long-term future. What else we got? Let's see. Ten of Swords, King of Coins. Perseverance, grit, working hard. You're going to have to work hard to turn your finances around. But don't be all fired up. There's a sense of rest that's needed here this week. Um, it's funny. I feel like the focus is more on your finances than uh, love and partnership and relationships. There's a lot of, you know, Venus energy here with the King of Coins we have here. Five of Coins. I just feel like... The abundance mindset, there needs to be a shift here. You know, maybe some of you have been feeling like financially you've been out in the cold um, or just, you know, wanting to turn your life around, um, get out of some kind of need mindset. And this is definitely stuff we can focus on before uh, Venus um Venus is going to end up, I think, in Scorpio, which is all of the ball of wax. But right now, Venus is um, entering shadow in Libra. So this is a good time to definitely write down, setting some new goals for yourself. Two of Wands. Where do you want to be in three years? Where do you want to be in five years? Where do you want to be in ten years? Okay, but, you know, not making yourself too crazy, okay? Because you got to stay in the here and now, right? This is what's going to find the true success for you. Um, the long haul, the grit, putting the work in, making a commitment, making a commitment to finally once and for all get out of this place. <laughs> okay, stand up and take these knives out of your back. Um, nines are completion, so I really feel like um, the 10 here really is a new beginning and it's to me, you know, you drop the zero, it's a one. But it's that in-between stage where you, you have to stand up, okay? Uh, whatever bad juju has been happening in the past, and I feel a lot of that is the retrograde cycle. Um, now maybe a blip coming this week with Venus, because some of us are very sensitive. Uh, could, or you could already be feeling this energy, and you're like, whoa, wait, what's going on here, you know? Why all of a sudden am I like, questioning do I love my life or do I love it whatever that is okay um, as it pertains to your life and you know where you want to be what are your goals and aspirations here you got a wish card this is nice you know this is taking a look at the positive energy in your life taking a look at overcoming your negativity or um, having hope hope for your future Finding that love you want, you know, finding that job that you love. And this is quite promising because this star card always kind of comes after a struggle. 
So look at the positive things in your life and don't be all fired up this week. <laughs> a queen, got some characters here. You got the queen of swords, queen of wands, and king of coins. But I feel like at its face value, this is, this is, um, don't worry so much about, you know, killing it here, you know, um, to get what you want because you may feel tired this week. You got the four swords here. So th there's, there's a sense of like, Needing to take a step back, because you've got a hangman under here too, I notice. Um, take a step back and look at these things that you want for your future. Even though you might be moving forward, um, regardless, it's a great time to really look at what you want in your personal relationships, love relationship, maybe assessing what you want, or maybe assessing what you want to change, you know? Um... Hmm. And the five of coins, you know, um, you really need to hold on tight to um, your self-esteem here, turning things around financially for yourself. You know, maybe some of you lost a job or, you know, you're financially bankrupt or you're just struggling or worrying about money. Um, you know, write it down. Look at you know, your contribution to where you are right now because of your financial difficulties. For those of you that may be struggling, this is the time to turn it around. Like, but you know, the answer is only going to come when you rest. You have to rest here. You got the four of swords. So there's a rebirthing period here. Take the time out um, to really kind of integrate what you want to change in your life and really look at that. Maybe for some of you, even taking a break from a relationship. Sometimes, you know, you just need to be like, okay, I need my space. All right. I, I got some, I'm working out some things in my head. I'm not sure what I want. And that you might be experiencing that kind of confusion up until October 4th. So really look at all these things in your life right now um, and facing your truth. Queen of Swords, baby. She doesn't play. You know, cut away the crap once and for all, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, tell it like it is. Be honest with yourself. You know, stand up for yourself here. Cut the ties of like, ugh, what doesn't serve you anymore this week? This is a nice opportunity and time frame to do this. I'd say do it this week. I wouldn't even wait, you know? Um, and this journey to the truth is going to come by you resting. You see what I'm saying? Like, Sometimes we just have to go in a meditative state and, and take a step back and hang back and, and like, okay, um, this is what I want to change. This is where I want to go. I'm done. I'm, I'm taking these swords out of my back and I'm moving forward. And I know I'm going to have to work hard here, you know, to create the stability in my life. But this is material satisfaction. You know, through discipline and, and, and creating the abundance through integrity. You know, going it for the long haul here. Hangman. Let's see what's under here. I'm just curious. Ah, oh, nine of cups. Three. Okay, lots of growth and expansions coming your way, guys. I love it. Just this certain sense of justice here. You know, maybe there's some kind of you know, legal juju that's being cleaned up, okay, some, some, um, restitution here with the queen of swords, okay, um, but, you know, now you have two wish cards, you get the star card and the nine of cups, so if you do the work, you're going to get your wish, okay, because there's definitely growth and expansion coming in, uh, moving into October if you do the work now, okay, um, hold on, my computer just went, Oh, there we go. Okay. You can see the camera's still going, but um, this is beautiful. I love this because um, it all works out in the end, but definitely a week that you need to really kind of look at this stuff, um, these key elements in your life, I guess, as far as what do you value. Digging deep. This is a good time to really dig deep. Um with Venus going retrograde and it's going to be in Libra. Well, it's in Libra now. Um, 
and I think I mentioned that already, but get get, get looking at what you need to now uh, before it moves into Scorpio when she's at retrograde on um, um, fully out of shadow by October 4th. What else is coming through here? Um, yeah, taking a break from any relationships, even taking a break from work. Um, seeing what aligns with you in your heart. You know, this is like a, a time to dig deep emotionally. You know, do I, do I love this about my life? Do I love my life? Do I love my job? Do I love my partner, my husband, my wife, um, my girlfriend, my boyfriend? Um, is this relationship serving me well? Am I ready for a change? Mm -hmm. And she's going to stay retrograde until December. So it's, it's a bit of a transit here. Um, so I feel like the, what the energy is saying, what they're showing me is that do the work now before she's fully retrograde because she's going to come back into Libra. So all the work you do now as far as focusing in on um, or at least just taking a look at what serves you well in your life, um, is the time to do it. And if you have to take some downtime, um, that's probably the smart way to go here because it's, it's like a, it's like a rebirthing period. Yeah. These retrogrades can be, <laughs> you know, these astrological lines, they really like to throw a monkey wrench in, into, uh, uh, into our lives, right? But I just love this. It's a huge growth opportunity. We've got to look at, at it like that, a growth opportunity of expansion. Uh, know that your ships are going to be coming in here um, and having a positive mindset about abundance, you know. Um, now, the Queen of Wands here are saying, don't worry about, you know, getting all fired up. And, you know, the manifestation, I think, Really, what this card is saying, it will come. So, you know, what 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 sparks your interest? Do you have any, you know, creative endeavors that you might want to um, incorporate in your life? And it's funny because I'm just looking at these sunflowers. I definitely feel a real sense of this f fall energy, this autumn energy coming in here. Um, which definitely lines up with where we're going to be in October. I know this is a weekly reading, but um, <clears throat> you know these these transits definitely play a large role in in what we need to look at and take just stopping in our tracks, right? Staying in the here and now, and hanging back to kind of reflect on. Um, Where am I going? What do I want? This is the week to do it. Yeah, it's like she's saying, get up. You know, she, she's telling the Ten of Swords, get up already. Just, you know, um, get out of your head. You know, um, it's time. You know, it's time. It's this, this, it's like do or die, baby, you know. Um, so I'm looking at the four swords. I keep going back and forth here. Um, This is almost as if this energy is um, what is no longer serving you and that speaking your truth. And yeah, like I said earlier, taking the knives out of your back and standing up and just being strong for yourself is what you're going to have to do this week um, and make a plan for your long-term goals here. And no, you know, you know, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, things don't happen overnight. Um 
and you're gonna have to put the efforts in here to make the changes that you want but it's it's quite promising I I feel with the the star card here and the nine of cups make your wish right now guys you know um, just put one foot in the other and know that success is coming in your way and your wish fulfillment also here as well this is quite powerful you know the universe has bigger plans for you so you know follow the the heartbeat of the universe um, and the planetary alignments because they do really play a large role in shifting and changing our lives and um, they're like pockets of opportunity right because I don't know when Venus is going to go retrograde again but it's going to be a while so yeah for those of you this resonates with <clears throat> Or in this place, okay, you're going to have to definitely um, take advantage of this opportunity and can really turn your life around here. All right, so listen, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated with you. Um, I want to wish you a wonderful week. I'm just seeing if anything else is coming through. I think that's really it. So God bless you. Namaste. And we'll see you next week. I hope you have a great week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.